Welcome to another Friday night. This is On Fire Family, and this is Happy Hour. Cheers. Cheers. For those of you who are new here, we sit around on Friday nights, pull up Yacht World, and go shopping for our Great Loop boat. Our family of four is departing on the Great Loop in about 16 months, and so we're getting serious about making a yacht purchase. And so we sit here and go through these. A lot of these are suggestions that you have commented on some of our prior videos. And one that keeps coming up in those comments is we should look at a Sea Ray. It's a popular Great Loop boat. Uh, with folks and so we have not looked at one before and so tonight we are going to look at this 2000 Sea Ray 420 aft cabin. So that's 42 feet uh, and I believe it's a three stateroom boat. That's crazy. That's what people have And 2000 us. is new for us. New for anything that we own. Two th only 21 years old would be new for us but to fit three staterooms in a 420 is amazing. Yeah. So, and it's in New York, which would be amazing. And uh, we're closer than we think to, to getting a boat, I think, because we may have to buy it this year before the next winter starts since we're buying it in the north. So uh, we have to get pretty serious right now. Yeah, so this is listed for uh, 142, which is within the budget on Yacht World. And uh, let's just click through and yeah. see what we think. Royal Flush 2. Um, <laughs> it, it definitely looks like one of these more modern uh, kind of boats, right? We looked right. at a couple of these, a Silverton and an uh, Ocean Yachts, I think. Sailiner. Or uh, Cruiser's Yachts. Mm -hmm. um, so it definitely has that kind of sleek, more European kind of mm -hmm. styling. Um, but it, I mean, it looks good. It looks open and bright. And it does. It's a canvas around. Oh, it had a really big swimstead that I like. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this must be kind of the sun deck area here. It's a little bit small compared to a lot of the sun deck things that we've been looking yeah, at. Yeah, and the... if that's a stationary table, I mean, we can make do for eating and homeschooling and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but it has a sun deck and that's nice. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a cockpit. Um, right, but you're right. It had that big kind of um, swim platform. Yeah. That's kind of ish. Yeah. Like a. And what I'm okay. noticing on this picture is no dinghy. Mm. So this might put it out of our price range if we have to spend a lot of money on a dinghy. That's true. But we will continue. <laughs> uh, wing doors out to the side. Mm -hmm. uh, that seems nice. Mm -hmm. uh, a little wet bar area here on the sun deck. Uh, Space age doors. Yeah. Some. Lexan or something to get you down into the salon. Yeah, it's kind of cool that you, it would let light in. Yeah, you know rather than like a, a solid sunlight. Mm -hmm. And then some steps up to the so fly it's, bridge. It's nice that you can hang out on the sun deck and still communicate with the. That is what I really do like the about, pilot and about this. Yeah, and, and what we liked about the cruisers uh, right. as well. And I also like it looks like there's a couch up there, so we can all hang out up there. Mm-hmm. A nice those are, ca captain chairs. Those are nice. I like having two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, one of these kind of more uh, modern automotive or spaceship looking right. helm stations up here. Well, it looks like a perfect place for me to prop up my feet and hang out while he's driving. Mm -hmm. Or oh, vice versa. Right. Or lounge right there on the couch and read my book. <laughs> Yeah, so far. I mean, we don't really go for the molded plastic kind of thing, but it's got some good quality so far. Mm -hmm. Heading down into the salon here, a couple of looks like steep They're pretty steps steep. to get in, and then down uh, more to the aft uh, stateroom there, mm -hmm. uh, which is cool that it has that. Yeah. Uh, we looked at one other Sea Ray that did not have an aft cabin. There were three staterooms crammed up They were up all crammed forward. up front, yeah. yeah. And it was much bigger boat. Right. I can't believe there wasn't an aft stateroom. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is that aft stateroom. Actually, you know, we prefer the darker wood and this doesn't disappoint. It, I don't know if it's real blonde. or like kind of laminate yeah, it's, plasticky wood, but it's, you know, not terrible like them. Yeah. 
Oh, there's a TV. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this must be the master head. Yeah, it kind of feels like an RV to me. Yeah, right? Yeah, for the same vintage, the 2000-ish RV. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's just completely molded in. Because you're not going to upgrade it less. with tile and flooring kind of a deal. Mm -hmm. That's a nice shower. It no, is a nice shower, and I do appreciate a step in a shower. Mm -hmm. Dinette looks I like the terrific. Dinette. Yeah. yeah. You could all force it there and school or play games. Matching couch. Which is nice. Now, it's leather. Comfortable. Yeah, leather or plastic leather is not my deal, especially for the dinette and the couch. Um, so they, neither of them look plush. Mm. And it looks like you can't watch TV from the couch. Hmm. Yep, to the dinette. But this bar area with the stools, I do like. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I like this darker wood that's kind of rare on these, I think, because you see a lot of that whitewashed kind of right. stain. So uh, maybe a small fridge. Mm. That might be kind of a killer for and a built family in, of four trying to provision for the Great Loop. Built in coffee maker. Mm hmm. That's, that's a shiny kitchen. Mm hmm. Yeah. Big, yeah. Big, adequate. Okay. So I was reading about this. So on in the, the third stateroom, uh, some have it configured as a laundry and some have it configured as a stateroom. So this, I think, could be a twin berth here underneath where right. the dinette is. But in this Which particular is, layout, it has a washing machine there. Right. Which as much as I would like a washing machine, we do have somebody we need to put in a third stateroom. So this actual boat won't work for us. Yeah, and I wonder if you could convert this by. Um, oh, just having a bed. Still have that washing machine, <laughs> right. but, but put the bed uh, above it there and just kind of make cut a mattress. And, yeah, and you're very handy. You could probably do that. Just no nighttime laundry. Right. I mean, it's got everything. It's all yeah. crammed it really, right in this area. It but really, it really uh, does have everything. Well, and it has a since it has a nice flybridge and sun deck. There's lots of places for people to hang out away from. Mm -hmm. And here's the forward stateroom. That's a really lovely large forward stateroom. It is. Yeah. Center line, queen, probably size berth up here. Yeah. I assume there's another head. So they save space mm -hmm. by putting the dinette so close to the couch in the salon. Yeah. The salon is a little yeah. smaller. Uh, yeah. So the forward head, I don't know if there's a stand up shower up here. There is. So two. Two. two this is stand up showers. A lot to put into 42 feet. Yeah. If that's the actual specs, it might be a bit larger. Yeah, modern AC controls and stuff. It looks fun. It does. It looks like good, fast family fun. Uh, these are marketing photos from oh. the day. Okay, so here we got a layout. So we yeah have the a layout centerline nice. queen. This is the one showing the twin berth here instead of the washing machine. Uh -huh. And then the aft cabin is showing over here. So, good. Very serviceable boat. I am pleasantly surprised. Me too. Especially for the length. Yep. I mean, that would even, that would work. But if, if it's going to be only 42 feet, um, I would prefer a cheaper price. Yeah. Right. And you brought up a good point with the dinghy. We need a... Right. To accommodate a dinghy and... Are there any engine pictures? Mm-mm. Mm. I don't think we saw much about the bow either. It's, uh, uh... Oh. I don't know if there's lounging space up there on the bow or what. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, thank you guys for joining us for another Friday night. And thanks for suggesting this um, boat for us to look at. And, um... Subscribe and like and send us more comments. Yeah, thanks. All right, cheers. Cheers.